In this video, let's see how to add dynamic form controls. Many a times, we have come across forms where we might have to add multiple fields based on a button click. For example, we might want to provide an alternate address or provide alternate phone numbers or even email addresses. We start off with a single input field and leave it up to the user to decide whether they want to add more form fields and fill them out. This way, you can keep the form concise and expand it only when necessary. So let's see how to duplicate a form control in reactive forms. For our example, I am going to add a button to duplicate the email address field. So the user can receive promotional offers on multiple alternate email addresses. Kind of a strange scenario, but it definitely serves the purpose to understand the underlying concept. So I'm going to go back to VS Code and in app.component.ts, the first step is to import the form array class from Angular slash forms. The form array class makes it possible to maintain a dynamic list of controls. So after form group, we are also going to import form array. The second step is to define a form array in our form model. So in the form model, right after addresses, I'm going to add alternate emails, which is going to be an array. So this dot form builder dot array. You can initialize the form array with any number of controls, but we want to start with zero controls, hence the empty array. Third step, we create a getter to be able to access this form array easily in the HTML. So at the top, I'm going to create a new getter get alternate emails which is going to return this dot registration form dot get alternate emails and we are going to type assert it to form array as form array now for the fourth step we are going to create a method that can be called to dynamically insert form controls into the form array so let's call the method add alternate email. And within this method, we are simply going to push a new form control into the form array. This dot alternate emails dot push a new form control. This dot fb dot control. So every time this method is called, a form control is pushed into the form array. The fifth step is to add a button in the HTML to call this method. So let's go back to app.component.html and over here, right after the label for email address, I'm going to add a button element. The text is going to be add email and then type is going to be button class is going to be button button secondary button small with a margin of two now these are all bootstrap classes finally we also add click event listener so on click event we're going to call add alternate email method the final step is to iterate over the form array and display the form fields. So let's use the ng4 directive to iterate over the array and display the input fields. So a div tag with the ng4 directive, let email of alternate emails dot controls. And then we are also going to access the index. Let i is equal to index. Within the for loop, we are going to render an input element. Input type is equal to text. Class is equal to form control. I'm also going to add a bit of vertical margin. 
again from bootstrap and then we need to bind to form control name and we are going to bind the index keep in mind the array is dynamic so we need to make use of the index value to bind to the form control name property also on the div tag which is the containing element we need to add the form array name directive so form array name is equal to alternate emails this directive will help us keep track of the form array values right now if I save both the files and go back to the browser you can see that we have the add email button and one email address field to begin with if I click on the button a new field is added click again one more and so on and when I type in the values you can see that the values are captured in the alternate emails array in the appropriate index position now let me tell you duplicating is not restricted to a single form control you can duplicate an entire form group like an address form group but the steps remain the same import form array define the form array create a getter create a method to push either a form control or a form group add the form array name directive and finally iterate using the ng4 structural directive so that is how you dynamically add form controls or form groups to your reactive forms thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video